Hello guys, it's me again, Ronaldo. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to create lighting using SGRI. All we need to do is to create a free light dome and select dome here and place it here. And on the texture, you can select free SGRI and open your material editor and drag and drop on your material editor and here you can select your SGRI Let's, and we'll use the free SGRI for this test okay and make sure you change the mapping type to spherical you want to see the image you can see it here okay here first let's use the inverse gamma as it is as 1.0 and I will do the rendering using Fury RT first we need to activate the, all the GPU that we want to use for this rendering and change to active shape mode and change the size of the image probably I will use a bigger one and on the VR teachers CUDA Okay, show set statistic and how to update it and we are good to go now to the right ring okay now we can see that the image looks very dark you can add more multiplier on your real light dome or you can adjust your camera setting here I will add more multiplier here you can see I put the 30 or you can add more like 60 okay I think this one is bright enough so as you can see here using the inverse gamma 1.0 you already can see a sharp shadow here but what about if you want to get more contrast image and having more sharper and darker shadow all you need to do is to reduce the inverse gamma see uh, when you lower the inverse gamma you will get a nice and sharper shadow but beware if you lower it too much, you will destroy the SGRI itself. We are rarely using a 0 0.6. We are quite often using a like a 0 0.7 or 0 0.75. You also can change the white balance on your camera, probably like this. can use color pick and adjust the color here okay it's already look really nice it's very easy to use SGRI to create a sharp shadow especially when uh, like a daytime SGRI like this okay let's do the other test this time I want to use several video light dome so I can control my sky and the reflection and the GI separately all we need to do is to create two or three Fidelite dome. 
Okay, first let's rename this one as a sky. Just want this video light dome to be visible on the background. So I will uncheck all of this item. Let's do some tests here. Okay, uh, here as you can see this real light dome only affecting the sky. We'll create another real light dome. Just copy and name it as a GI. I want this real light dome only affecting the GI. So I will check the invisible and check the affective views. Since you are copying this one, you can drag and drop the new SGRI here. Okay, and you can lower the gamma here. Let's use 0 0.7 and let's test what happened. Now we can create another one and name it reflection. Okay, this one is for reflection, so uh, I will uncheck the affective views and will check the specular and the reflection. For this reflection, I want to use the same SGRI as the sky using the inverse gamma one. So instead of creating another one, I will just simply drag and drop the same SGRI on my reflection dome. Okay. See now you can have the reflection on this chrome ball. In real life photography, like when your son facing your camera, all the other object will be look very dark. So using this kind of technique you can control everything. Like the sky still have you can have the proper brightness on your sky and the proper brightness on your object okay we can add more multiplier on your on our GI dome see it's let's make it very hard and also if if you want to have a more reflection on your chrome ball you can add more multiplier too so see now you can have more reflection on your chrome ball but using this one will give this kind of technique will give you a lot of flexibility okay guys for that's it for this tutorial and we'll continue to the next tutorial about how to connect very sun or target direct to your very light dome thank you for watching and See you on the next tutorial.